Well, today finds me um, not in a boat, not on the beach, but uh, for the more observant of you, <laughs> in a kayak, and uh, not a very big kayak at that. And so um, I'm actually on the River Deben, and I'm just off of Ramsholt. And um, again, it's uh, 60th of November, my birthday, and it's a pretty glorious day. It's clouded over a little bit. Um, it's round about half 12, so another hour and it's high tide. And I've only been here about an hour and I've had a, a pretty eventful time so far. I had a couple of seals bobbing around and then one of them made a most enormous splash as it chased, presumably, a fairly sizable fish. Um, and a few boats up and down. Uh, this rod, I lost. I mean, I literally mean uh, uh, a boat came past. The boat, the kayak was rocking all over the place. And um, the right, the left-hand rod holder became detached. I still haven't quite worked out how. Um, and the rod just disappeared, um, which was very annoying because it was a virtually new uh, 12 to 20 pound ugly stick and a brand new um, Pen Battle 2 4000 series. Um, and I was really annoyed um, with myself mainly because um, uh, I could see the waves coming and I just couldn't turn bow on quickly enough and it just rocked the boat and off they went and um, so I carried on fishing feeling a bit grumpy and with the other rod here and um, got a bite and was reeling in and um, on my this is the earth rig that I am a big fan of um, so th three hooks um, and it always seems to be the one nearest the weight or the one at the far end that catches the fish. I've never caught one on the middle hook. And so I was reeling in, and um, as you will see, because I, I was actually videoing it at the time, um, the last hook came in with the whiting on it, and tangled round it was some yellow line. And I thought, what a coincidence. I use yellow line on the other rod. And I was pulling the line in and thinking, it can't be, can it? Is it possible? And after much pulling of line, I pulled in the other rod, which I am now using again. And um, I'm going to leave it, obviously need to strip the reel down when I get home. But I'm hoping that because it's just wet, it's, um, although I know it's salt water, but it's, um, it's works. So pretty amazing day so far and I've caught a few whiting and if I catch a codling that will be a birthday treat although getting my rod back is a pretty good birthday treat so let's do a bit more fishing so this is the um, anchor trolley so the line is attached to that carabiner and then in this case it goes to a buoy that I've attached it to but you can move the center of gravity from the front of the boat to the middle of the boat or to the back of the boat and that will turn the either the bow <coughs> one way or the other and it's quite useful i didn't manage to um, do it quickly enough when those waves came so i lost the rod So this is the rig I was showing you earlier on, and there's no, no fish on this one, but you can see there's the top hook with the red and yellow beads, and then the bottom hook with the white ones. And it's the bottom hook that is catching the fish every time. Um, I don't even know why I bothered baiting that top hook, because I never caught a fish on it. Um, whereas this bottom one, I would say was probably the, the killer um, answers on a postcard as to whether the beads and the 
um, bit of bling made any difference I don't know but um, it's there and hey <laughs> I saw a little knock. Mm, don't think so. No. No knocks for Len. Oh yes. There's a knock. And again, it's on that bottom hook nearest the weight. Right, let's have a look at the Earth rig. Not really seen any bites, but not feeling anything. This, this bail arm is not really up to big weights. Keeps on flicking back. There we go, look, nothing except for Mr. Crab, the first crab of the day. Right, let's bait up and get it out again. Cause it's getting towards high tide. That's that one. What? Let's put that on. Houdini lugworm. They come off. Why is that possible? Right, stay on there. 
Paid good money for you. Let's put this baby back in there. Let's check on this boy. Quick check. Oh, feel a knock. Well, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can feel a little knock from Willie Whiting. Right, let's see what Mr. Willie Whiting has got to say for himself. Come on, Mr. Whiting, it's P Avenue. Come on, Mr. Whiting. Oh, is it a Whiting? Is it a whiting? Is that a whiting? It is a whiting. For one second there, I thought I'd got me a codling, but it's a rather large whiting. And for good measure, it's taken my hook right the way down. <laughs> to be on dry land. I feel like kissing the soil. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I couldn't get out of this, wouldn't it? Oh, it wouldn't actually. Harry Houdini, I am not. Wow, now I know how a butterfly feels. <laughs> <laughs> 